Hi, in this video, I will show you how to create this type of part in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a completely free 3D CAD system in which we can create our own 3D models and FreeCAD can be used both for hobby and commercial purposes. We can simply use this system to create home projects for private use and we can create projects from which we can earn money. I'll start a new project and create a similar part to this part. We'll start by creating a sketch on the XY plane and here we'll create a base sketch. I will select a rectangle from the center and create a rectangle measuring 100 by 100 millimeters. Then I will draw four circles. Now I will add a dimension, diameter 10 millimeters, and select four circles and select the equality constraint so that the circles have the same diameter. Now I place these two circles symmetrically about the Y axis. Then I place these two circles symmetrically about the X axis. OK, and now I select the center of this circle, this circle, the Y axis and select the symmetry constraint. And now we have all the circles connected, they are placed symmetrically about the axis of the coordinate systems. And then let's add the dimensions between the centers of the circles. And let's create another circle, a circle with a diameter of 60 millimeters. We leave the sketch and add a 10 millimeters extrusion. OK, we have created the base, now we create another sketch on this face. I select this face, select Create Sketch. Here I will use reference geometry so that I can use this circle as reference geometry. And now I draw another circle of any diameter whose center coincides with the center of the origin of coordinate systems. And the second circle, the center of which also coincides with the origin of the coordinate systems and also with any diameter. Now I right click to cancel drawing the circle. Select these two circles and select the equality constraint and add the diameter of this circle. And here I enter 75 millimeters as the diameter of this circle. Close the sketch and add an extrusion of 100 millimeters. And so far, designing this part is quite simple. Let's add another sketch. This time we create a sketch on this wall. I select this face. Select Create Sketch and here I will use Reference Geometry. I will recognize the outer edge of this solid. And now I will create a rectangle from the center so that the center of this rectangle lies on the Y axis and the dimensions are arbitrary for now. And here, when drawing this rectangle, when I determine the position of the corner of this rectangle, I connected this corner of the rectangle with this auxiliary line and we have a constraint here and this corner of the rectangle is connected to this line and this is because I have automatic constraints turned on. And we'll leave it like that for now. Then we draw a circle, place the center of the circle at this point and connect the second point of the circle with this point of the rectangle. Now let's add the dimensions of this rectangle. Here it's 40 millimeters. Here 20 millimeters. And now I'm going to delete some of the geometry. I will select trim geometry. I certainly won't need part of this circle. Likewise, I won't need this line of this rectangle either. And here we lost the constraints. We'll fix it soon. These two points are not related, so select this point and this point and let's add a coincident constraint. And everything looks good here, the sketch is now fully constrained. Let's draw two more circles here. 
select the circles and select the equality constraint. Then select the centers of the circles and the Y axis and select the symmetry constraint. Now select the centers of the circles and add a dimension between these centers of 25 millimeters. Then let's add the dimension of the circle's diameter, 5 millimeters. And let's also define the distance from the center of the circle, for example from the center of this circle, and here it is 45 millimeters. And OK, we have created a sketch. Close the sketch and now we add an extrusion. Notice what happens when I click the pad command to add an extrusion. The entire drawing disappeared and it might seem that this is an error, but the extrusion is added to the top by default. And in FreeCAD, one of the basic rules when creating 3D models consisting of several stages is that the next stage touches the previous stage. And if in this way we add an extrusion, there will be no contact between the previous part of the solid and the new one that we want to add. Here, all we need to do is select the reversed option and we can add such an extrusion. Let's add 10 millimeters extrusion and click OK. And this way we have created something like this. And now we will add these fragments of this solid. And to add these fragments of the solid, you need to create an auxiliary plane. We are creating this plane offset from this face. So we select this face and select to create a datum plane command. And move it on the Y axis by 50 millimeters. And now we will create a sketch on this plane. Select this plane and select the create sketch command. And create a sketch. At the beginning, I recognize the outer edge of this solid so that we could have reference geometry here and here we could create this sketch in the same way as we created this sketch. That is, we create a sketch that will touch the outer edge of the model. However, in some cases, such extraction may fail later and I will show you this soon. First, I'll switch to section view create a circle geometry here and create any geometry here, just to show you whether it will work or not work. Now we will trim parts of this circle so that it is simply closed geometry. And we have such geometry, and based on this geometry, we can add an extrusion. And in some cases, when we create an extrusion where the sketch touches the outer edge of the model, and we want to add an extrusion, sometimes it may not work. It worked here, such an extrusion can be done. I will cancel it for now, I will go to this sketch and in cases where such extrusion does not work, we can simply move this geometry a little inside the solid. This is where it would need to be edited a bit. It would be necessary to delete some constraints, add new ones and in this way it would be possible to move the geometry a little inside the solid. But of course, you can do this in a situation where it wouldn't work or we can simply create a sketch related to the inner edge of this solid. And here, I would like to recognize the internal edge of this solid, but we are in the cross-section sketch and this edge is obscured by the work plane. So I will switch to the model tab, select this plane, press the spacebar to turn off the visibility of this plane, and here, I choose to recognize the model edges. I select this edge, and now we can treat this inner edge as a reference edge. I will remove this edge and now, when we create a sketch, this sketch will overlap the solid and then there will be no risk that the drawing of the sketch will fail and that we will have to correct something. Therefore, in this case we will use this reference geometry. Here, I will create a new circle. And OK, now I'm going to draw two lines. Here, this circle has not been constrained, so I select these geometries and select the equality constraint. OK, then I select this point, select this circle and select the tangent constraint. And I do the same with this point. 
with this circle. And here I also select the tangent constraint and select this point and this point and select the coincident constraint. Now select this point and the Y axis and select the constraint point on two object option. OK, next let's add a constraint preserving fillet. I select this line and this line and let's add the radius of this rounding. 10 mm. Then let's add the dimension of the center of this rounding from the origin of the coordinate systems to 60 mm. And let's add a circle here whose center will coincide with this point and a circle with a diameter of 10 mm. Now let's trim a fragment of the circle. Here, notice that after trimming the circle fragment, there was still a piece of the circle left here, and this piece of the circle also had to be trimmed. I right click to cancel this command, close the sketch, and add an extrusion. And here let's add an extrusion of 10 mm, but symmetrically from the plane, and click OK. And this way we have created something like this, and now we will create a second such part. But we will create it in this way that we will use this sketch. We will not create a new sketch, we will simply copy this sketch. And this sketch is the sketch that was used for this operation. So I select this sketch, click Ctrl C. Here I only select this sketch, and here I click Ctrl V. And we have this sketch. Just notice that this sketch is outside the solid. In a moment, we will drag it to the solid. And at the beginning, let's create another auxiliary plane. Select this face and select Create Datum Plane. And here we move it on the Z axis by 80 millimeters. And now we will move this sketch to this plane. But first, grab this sketch and drag this sketch to the solid. OK, and now select this sketch. And here click on the Map Mode field. A button with three dots will appear. Click this button. And here click on the Plane button. And select this plane and click OK. And now this sketch has been moved to this plane. But this sketch is invisible. But if you select this sketch in the Operation Tree and press the space bar, the visibility of this sketch will appear. And now select Extrusion. And here, as before, we add an extrusion of 10 mm and symmetrically from the plane, click OK, select the plane and turn off the visibility of this plane. And in this way, we have created something like this. Now we can add rounding in the corners. Let's add a rounding of 5 mm here. OK, and here as you can see, such edges are visible, but this is because I have the refine parameter set to false. If we change this parameter to true, and these edges will no longer be visible. And OK, this is how we created something like this. And if you would like to learn more about FreeCAD, if you would like to learn the basics of 3D modeling in this system step by step, you can take part in my FreeCAD basics of 3D modeling course, the link to which is in the description of this video. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.